So the Hype CLI is something that we've been needing to get done for a while. I'm really glad we finally uh, have it done. So here it is, the Hype command line. We've got a ton of commands in this thing. I have some data sets here that I'm seeding. The nice thing about the Hype command line is it spawns the hyperspace daemon in the background and keeps all your stuff online. So even though I don't have any kind of you know GUI application running, I got this thing here seeding for me. And it looks like that this one is my personal hyperdrive. And I am going to run the ls command to just list all the files inside of it. And yep, definitely is. And so we have a couple of nice shortcut commands for dumping information out of hyperdrives. For instance, if I cat readme.md, there it is. And there's a whole set of useful commands here. You know, you got ls, make a directory, remove a directory, cat to just output the contents of a file, put to write a file, rm to delete. Diff is a really useful one, actually. This one we haven't talked about nearly as much as I feel like we ought to. I'm going to diff my drive against just a random folder here. I'm just going to echo hello into temp bar test.txt so it has something in there. Okay, so again, the diff command is just a file tree diffing tool. So hype diff the key and then temp bar. Now what that's doing is it's diffing from the left argument to the right argument, right? And the idea being that if I were to sync the two from the left to the right, here are the changes that would occur. And so in this case, temp bar has a single file in it and my hyperdrive is empty. And so if I were to do a sync to that target, it would actually delete the test.txt, right? So let's reverse the argument order there. Temp bar and then the, the drive, right? So now it's going to be diffing from the left being the, the folder in my hard drive and the right being my hyperdrive. And now it would be, okay, you would be adding it. And so from here, the diff command has a switch you can pass in, which is commit, which would actually cause that, that difference to be, you know, synced over, which is also another command called hype sync does the exact, exact same thing. It's the same code. So if I do now hype diff from the left being my local folder and the right being my drive, which is empty, and then dash C. It'll give me a chance to review what's about to happen. I'll say yes, and just like that, my drive now has the test.txt inside of it. The uh, sync command is what we consider to be one of the more common ones that you would be using in your workflows. And uh, the really interesting thing you can do is the live sync. So I'm gonna do the same command going from the, you can do it in either direction, same as before. I'm gonna do syncing from my local file system into the drive. And I'm gonna turn on watch mode or live mode. I'm gonna begin the sync going from temp bar to the hyperdrive. And there it goes. And now I'm gonna open up a new prompt here, go to temp bar. And I'm gonna echo yet another file into test3.txt and it happened so fast didn't even see it there but if i ls into my, ls my drive now i ls there it is test3 so now i got live syncing so lots of useful commands one other thing that we added in after making the hype command I forget how this happened, but at one point, I just sort of offhand said to Matthias, you know what would be cool is if we did a magic wormhole. It is a way to send information from one device to another. It works by creating a sort of a temporary time-locked passphrase. I'll demonstrate it now. It's called hyperbeam is what we called our thing. So if I call it, it's gonna generate a passphrase for you like that. Wait, go review, right? It becomes basically a STD IO stream point. So if I echo, this will get hyperbeam into hypebeam. So what we have effectively done is created a networked pipe. And on any other device, run hypebeam and then the, the phrase plain mind test. And you can see there the output got hyperbeamed. And the one that I was sending it from, you know, terminates after that happens. So it basically keeps that 
command active until the other side is able to receive the information and then it ends itself. So it's a one-time use kind of passphrase. So you can do pretty cool stuff with it. Like I'm gonna go to tempbar so I can cat a file. And then at the uh, other side, I can uh, do type beam idea active hearing. That's my passphrase and then write it out to another file. And just like that, boom, file transferred.